Hello everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Legends of Zelda Ocarina of Time. In our last episode, we got into Dodongo's Cavern. We got through pretty much like the entire dungeon. Uh, we got bombs. We actually got portable bombs now, so we don't have to actually pick up those little bomb things. And now we're going to carry on. And if you hit this switch, it will lag. It'll actually raise a... Uh, another pillar so if we fall down we can get back up to the second floor so that's always good but actually we're pretty well done with the the dungeon actually there's just about I think three more rooms left after this what we're gonna have to want to do is put a bomb right here and get out oh shit though I, I hope I didn't get hurt okay good then we're gonna you know what Some cool yeah we're gonna put this put another bomb in the other eye. How did that work? I'm just not, I'm not even gonna question it. Run! Or get exploded. Now that opens the jaw of the Dodongo statue thing. We can jump down. Not get hit by the beam thing. And go in here. We're basically pretty well done with this actually. As you can see the boss room is right to our left. All we gotta do is go through one or two more rooms and oh freaking but luckily if I die I have a fairy that I got in the the forest meadow so that's always good where the heck is it where the heck oh shit why can't I not aim on you why is your friend coming please be hurt you whore I can't withstand another hit from them so I heard music. Go away. Wait, actually. Wrong way. There's a fairy actually in this room. So if, if I don't die before I get to it, I might actually be able to live. There it is, there it is, get it. Yeah. Yeah. We got more ball. Okay, I have to stop making that joke. And now that we got over here, and in, in the center of that room we were just in, which are, we're actually back in now, there was a little hole in the ground that had a switch in it, and we need something to hold it down, so we come over here, push this down, and we gotta pull this away from the wall, go behind it, go away! I'm already on fire, and I'm I'm actually losing HP because I'm not Oh my Jesus. You will die and give me hearts. Thank you. Okay. Now we gotta push this. And now we have access to the boss door. And now let's hope that there is a heart in here. Or don't lose another one, you freaking guy. What oh we got another one. We got more than we lost, so that's good. And now that we're here, place the bomb here, and ninja assassin this. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Now we're in the boss room. Maybe it's just like a little creature thing. Mommy. Infernal Dinosaur King Dodongo. Yeah, he is quite larger than the ones we fought before. What you're going to want to do, throw bombs in its mouth. And uh, then he gets pissed off. Oh, wait. Oh, shit. I forgot. Oh. Oh, like. Oh, God. I can't believe I forgot about that. Okay. Um. Now we just got to follow him until he runs into the... Why is it lagging? Okay. Until he runs into the wall. Throw another one in its mouth. This time, not fail. Then, boom. Oh, you can't do it twice. I forgot you can't do it twice. Hide in the crack of the wall there. He'll bounce off the corner. He's not really that hard of a boss if you know what you're doing. And I don't know what I'm doing because I took it out too early. Oh, wait, wait. It still got him? Holy crap. Oh, we did it. That was actually pretty quick. Now he has some alcohol and he's driving drunk and now 
you paid the consequences by crashing into lava. How do you like your Dodongos? I like them crispy. <laughs> that was a terrible joke, why did I say that? And now that he somehow made it so we can walk on lava, we can pick up another heart container. And now we have five. And we just beat a boss. You want another bomb in Dodongo? Okay. And it just exploded, and we went inside the ring of amazement. And we're going to fly into the sky. And now we're outside of the Dodongo's cavern, so even though we could have easily walked, but... No, we have to teleport. Holy shit! Oh, now he smiles. It's me, Darunia. Well done. Thanks to you, we... Ow. Ow. We can once again eat the delicious rocks from the Dodongo's cavern until our stomach bursts. What a wild adventure. It will make an incredible story. I can't believe that the Dodongo's suddenly appeared in such, a, in such great numbers. And that big rock blocking the cave. All this trouble must have been caused by that Gerudo thief, Ganondorf. He said, give me the spiritual stone, only then will I open the cave for you. You, on the other hand, risked your life for us. Kid, I like you. How's about you and I become sworn brothers? No, there's no big ceremony involved. Just take this as a token of our friendship. Kame! Kame! Oh shit! Oh wait. Oh lord! No, I'm not, I'm not gonna even do that either. And now, we got... The Goron's Ruby. I'm pretty sure it's called. Yeah, the Goron's Ruby. You obtained the Goron's Ruby. This is a spiritual stone of fire passed down by the Gorons. You don't know what he means by sworn brothers, but you've collected two spiritual stones. You have one more to find. Brother, you'll keep brushing up on your skills as you travel, won't you? You should go see the Great Fairy on top of Death Mountain. She will power you up. Hey, everybody, let's see off our brother. Um, everybody... Oh, whoa! You did great. How about a big Goron hug, brother? Oh, run! Holy... Sh oh, shit! Run! 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 And now, we're done with the second dungeon of the game. And, uh, yeah, one more spiritual stone to get, and then we can access the area thing. And these uh, little things in the wall right now, you can explode and go inside. And there's actually a sculpture right here. we got to get rid of these tektites first. Um, why did I take out a bomb? Actually, I want to ninja this. What? Yeah. That's right. But, alas, we cannot reach said Sculptula. So, I guess we're gonna have to come back for it later, but, oh well. Actually, yeah, whatever. Okay, we're just gonna go down here. And now we hear the chickens again, but thank god we don't have to come back and get them. Because that fail was too big of a fail to fail, so fail. Okay, um, now what we're gonna do? How about we just go back to Hyrulean place area thing and uh, just walk around a little bit? No, I'm good. We're just gonna go to the marketplace so I can buy a new shield and yeah. He told us to go to the bazaar, and if we go to the marketplace, we will see what the bazaar shop actually is. And notice the graphics, like, on the on the ground are all tripping out, like, little squares. It's like sometimes when I, when I open the ROM for this game, it, like, just trips out the graphics, but... Other than that, the graphics look alright, I guess, even though the sun looks kinda square and rounded at the same time, so... Let's just go in here before the gate goes up. Walk in here. And now that we have 99 rupees, we can pretty well buy it. 
Notice how it was like getting dark and now the thing just went like it was morning. Yeah, I, I don't get it. So here's the bazaar. And the Goron. I came here to sell bombs because... Wait, be, please buy some. Oh, I see. Welcome. And we can buy the shield for 80 rupees. You heard about us from the guard at Death Mountain Gate. Well, I have I have to give you a good deal then. So instead of buying it for 80, he sells you it for 60. It's not. It's still pretty expensive, but wait, wait, wait. Oh, 40. I thought it was 60. Oh well, 40 is is half price, which is really good. And now if we equip that, we're gonna notice. that it's a bit big for us so we can't really use it like we did with our other shield to block things we can only duck with it so oh well it's still good for protection but I guess that's a perfect this, this is gonna be like a perfect place to end the video with these, I don't wanna talk to a little girl okay um, this will be the perfect place to end the video if all these people are dancing so ignore the lag oh my gosh lag lag Lag, lag, lag. So this will be a perfect place to end the video. So, thanks for watching, and goodbye.